Family, what's good? It's your boy. But the mic fell. Back once again. Another video. Welcome, Suits and Sense. Got another exclusive family. Today, family, going to the house of Initio Perfumes. They got a new one out. Well, technically at the time of this video, it's not out yet. But it'll be out maybe in about two weeks from now. And it is called Narcotic Delight. It's, um, how can I say this? It's, it's somewhat of a boozy scent. Uh, but hmm, you know what? We, we're just going to dive into it. It's, it's, I, I like it. I like it. It's a really nice scent. You know, once again, headed up the Neiman Marcus, Tyson's Corner, went to the Creed stand. If you're ever there, holler at my girls, Wendy and Francesca, go to the Creed stand, Tyson's Galleria. They're going to take care of you. All right. They will take care of you. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put, uh, their, her card up here. So if you don't want to go up there and you want to call them, get what you need. They got you. I'm telling you, if you want to sample something, they got you. All right. They got you. They're not, they're not stingy. They'll take care of you. Okay. Um, so we're diving into, uh, the house of Initio Parfums and it's Narcotic Delight. That's their new release. It's a, a boozy fragrance, um, nice, sweet, uh, mellowed out type fragrance. Uh, actually, that's perfect for your cold weather that we're in now. It's going to be a monster in that cold weather that we're in now. And when the warm weather hit, this one also will project real nice. It will project real nice when heat get on it. So, man, still there. And I put that on like five hours ago. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to dive into uh, Nisha's Parfums um, uh, Narcotic Delight. So, first time viewers, thank you for tuning into the channel, Soups and Sets. Before you make any decisions, go back. Check out some of the other videos from Soups and Sets. Make your decisions from that. Continue, viewers. Much love, much love, much love. Truly appreciate you. Can't stop, won't stop, not going to stop. Why stop? It's not happening. You know what? It's not happening. I'm coming with the bangers for you, family. I just did Bodicea's and Neiman Marcus's uh, collaboration together. Boom. Gave that to you. Got this one for you. I'm um, going to do uh, Creed. Got a new fragrance coming out for uh, the women. Queen of Silk. I'm going to get that one for you. That's coming right after this one. Uh, and I got uh, another two more. I got them coming for you, fam. They, they rolling. They just rolling. They rolling. I'm telling you. I got them coming for you. So uh, I'm going to let the intro roll. And we're going to come back with... Uh, Initial Parfums, um, Narcotic Delight. All right, let's get at it. My bad. Candle, pineapple juice, always. COVID not going nowhere. Pineapple juice, best defense against COVID. Research, all right? Come on back here. Okay, family. Initial Parfums new release, Narcotic Delight. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the break. It has that Initio DNA. It has that Initio DNA from the, uh, the uh, Pribes line. Those are the purple bottles. So that is going to be from the purple bottle line, the Pribes line. And it's a sweet fragrance. Uh, it's a matte. It's, it, it's a sweet. It opens up sweet. It does. It's opened up sweet. And I believe that's the cherry that's in there. But it has a masculine uh, uh, flavor to it. It has a masculine flavor to it. This one is going to be a hit, fam. It really is. The opening, I already sprayed it on here. I had it on me all day, but I need to get the opening once more. Um, oh, man, this thing, this is nice. This is really, really nice. I was up Tyson's Corner. Uh, my girl Wendy called me and said, boom, hey, I got this sample. Come get it. I got you. Boom. Jetted up there, got my sample. Once again, got the bottle, sprayed it all over me. Boom. Um, and from from first spray, I was in love with it. 
And then as I, you know me, I'm, once again, now mind you, I'm the king of overspray. I overspray at least 95% of my fragrances, okay? Oh, that thing is nice. That cherry in there, oh my goodness. Oh, it's a sweet fragrance. So it's gender neutral. Men and women can rock this. Uh, it's a little on the heavier side for women, but it's just right for men. But that, you know, uh, that, that cherry, that, I'm telling you, that sweetness in the opening, man, is really, is done really, really nice. Really nice. Um, right, in the opening, you got cherry, black pepper, and pink pepper. Uh, and yeah, pink pepper. That's what you got in the opening. And that cherry, it is there. I mean, Oh my goodness, that cherry and that pepper, man, is there. You got the spice and the sweetness mixed together, and it is absolutely lovely. Oh, God. When I went up there, I sprayed it. And I, I and when I'm sampling fragrance now, if I know I'm going to sample a particular fragrance, I don't put anything on, on my way up there because I'm not going to put it on paper. I'm going to put it on skin because I'm the one wearing it. The, you know, I don't put it on paper because the paper's not wearing it. I'm wearing it. So I put it on skin and I put it all over me and I put it abundantly. You know, I, I got connections like that up uh Nina Marcus. You know, they you know they let me do they let me do my thing. Shoot. So uh put that on and that cherry came out in the opening, man, and it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, and it's still oh, that cherry is nice. That cherry with that pepper. Now this one I had on earlier. So this is the uh the uh opening and this is the dry down. Now when that when this joker dries down, you still get the cherry. The cherry lasts throughout the, the entire uh thing of the entire fragrance uh for the uh the the life lifespan of the DNA of the fragrance that lasts. The cherry is there. Uh the pepper is there slightly. The pink pepper and the, uh, black pepper is there slightly, but that cherry stays throughout it. And that's what makes this fragrance so unique. It stays throughout. Now, like uh, now, uh, when it dries down, that's when that silkiness come in there. That, 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 uh, um, uh, who I want to say, um, uh, Billy D. Williams, Smokey Robinson. Uh, Frank Sinatra. That's when that come in there with that cognac. That cognac come up in there. <sighs> Woo! That cherry, that pepper, and that cognac. Ooh, man. But the kicker, you know, when, like like I mentioned earlier, it has uh, initials DNA, you know, a, f a familiar uh, note in there, that headline that comes in there. That's part of the prize. So I need a purple bottle. The head is not going to be in there. And it is saying something to you. It's speaking to you. I mean, it's reaching out and it's grabbing you. It's inviting you. It's telling you, come here. What are you waiting for? Oh, that cherry. Oh, my goodness. This, this is going to be a hit. It, when it come out, it, I think it's due to release February 1st, I believe, at Neiman's. Um, some places might have it soon. I mean, I think you can get it on the Nishio uh, website now if you want. Uh, awesome fragrance. Awesome, awesome fragrance. So we got the cherry, the uh, both peppers, the cognac, and the hedowine, all right, as it starts to dry down. But the cherry stays with it through, throughout when all them other uh, notes come in there. So when that dries down, then the uh the a little bit more sweetness come with the vanilla when that vanilla peaks his head in there oh man it's lovely absolutely lovely and then closing up we got some tobacco okay so with all those notes that is in this fragrance and it's not a lot of notes so it's not complex it's really not complex so it's, it's a beautiful scent it was uh you know developed in france uh, like I said, it's coming out this year. Beautiful. That that cherry. Now, it's not the type of cherry that's like Tom Ford's uh, uh, cherry uh, uh, fragrance. It's not like that at all. Tom Ford's uh, cherry is more on... Then I'm not saying it's not a good fragrance. Tom Ford's uh, cherry fragrance is an excellent fragrance, but not on this level. That's more on the adolescent level. This right here is more on the grown man level. It's, I mean... And that's what that head on and that tobacco man, and that cognac. Oh, that cognac, that tobacco. Oh, man, listen. This, get your nose on it. Get a sample. 
wear it for a day or two and I mean, because it, it might be too sweet for some people because the cherry is abundant. The cherry is there. The cherry is it pronounces itself throughout the lifespan of the uh, fragrance. It really does. Even though you have cognac and uh, tobacco and vanilla in there, they really do not subdue the cherry. The cherry stays, stays without. The cherry does. The cherry is there. It, it starts to, you know, fade and, and settle down a little bit when the other notes come in there, but you still get the cherry. So I tell you this, if you are not a lover of the, uh, the note of cherry, then this is not going to be the fragrance for you. Okay. Plain and simple. If you're not a lover of the note of cherry, then this is not the fragrance for you okay it's not because the cherry in this fragrance is loud and abundant especially in the opening it's sweet and spicy that's what you get in the from first spray it just jumps up and grab you, you got the sweetness and you got the spicy uh coming together with the cherry and the black and the pink pepper it it, it comes and it's there but you know, and it stays a while. It takes a while for that to settle down. At least on, on my skin, it did. It but mind you, again, I'm an overspray. So it took a while for it to settle down. But when that cognac start to spin around up in there, and that silkiness and that smoothness coming in, and you got that head oil coming in, man, yeah, it blends in nicely. It blends in nicely. And when all that started to settle down, then you got the vanilla and tobacco coming in. Boom. Then you got, uh, what was it, narcotic delight. And, and and it is it 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 huh, it can have you feeling high. I'm just saying it, it can it can have you feeling high, especially on from man. Look, mm, all I can suggest is get a sample of it, please. Get a sample of it, okay? All right, so let's get to the most important part: the price. Um. The price isn't really that bad. Uh, it's like three eighty-five, about four hundred. Um, well, I can't say that's not that bad. Four hundred dollars is a lot of money. That's a lot of cake. But compared to some of the other fragrances that are coming out, you know, four hundred not bad. So, and it only comes in one size. So that's that's going to be your price, three eighty-five. Um, yeah, I I would I purchase it? I would. I like it. I love all the notes that are in there. I love the cherry. I love uh, the pink and black pepper. Uh, definitely, I love any fragrance to have a liqueur note in there. I just absolutely love it. And that cognac, you can truly get the cognac once it peaks its head and it blends in. Now, the cherry note is still going to be there. But when that cognac comes in there, you can get it. You get that cognac. You, oh, oh man, listen. That cognac coming in is absolutely beautiful. Head of wine coming in. But that's our, our initial uh, signature, I believe, for the Prives line, the head of wine. The, those are the purple bottles uh, for initial parfums. And then sometime later, as everything starts to, you know, it starts to sit on the couch and everybody put their feet up and they looking at the game is when the tobacco and the vanilla come in there. And they, you know, add a little ting ting to it. So. The fragrance itself, what I, from one to ten, I would give it. A, I would give it a good nine, eight and a half nine. I would. I would give it a good eight and a half nine. And the reason why I'm not giving it a ten, because once again, like like with another fragrance, the tobacco. I, I I love the note of tobacco. This is just me speaking. If the tobacco could just been a little bit more in there. I know the cherry note is more because you, you're trying to, you know, give you that, that sweet side. But if the tobacco could have peaked his head just a little bit more than what they was giving you. Same thing with uh, uh, Bodicea, the Victorious 1907. They got the note of tobacco in there, but the tobacco only, you know, peekaboo with you. So that's why I say, uh, you know, Eight and a half nine. Um, the tobacco note in there is light, which I understand. You don't want the tobacco to be dominant coming in and turn it from the uh, DNA in which the direction is trying to go. And I get that. I understand because the cherry, the sweetness, it's a sweet, spicy fragrance. It really is. It's a sweet, spicy fragrance. And that cognac comes in there and it starts to mellow out and silky smooth come through there. Yeah, it's, I like it. It's a really good fragrance. I suggest you get your nose on it, get a sample, give it a good wearing, 
and then go from there okay all right family um so everybody's aware you know you know about the uh house of initio perfume really really nice house they have some really really nice fragrances uh this fragrance right here is going to seem familiar to uh other fragrances that you might have uh tried or purchased from initio perfumes because it does have the initio prize dna in there in this fragrance here so that's some similarities there but the cherry makes it stand out it does the cherry makes it stands out and then the cognac comes in there gives us its own identity and it's just beautiful the cherry the cognac gives it the cherry and the cognac truly gives it its own identity once it starts to settle down beautiful scent family beautiful beautiful scent it was created in spain uh coming out uh 2024 and uh run you about 385 400 so it's up to you it's up to you but I really, really like it. Okay. So let's recap the notes. We got uh, in the opening, you got the cherry with the black and pink pepper. All right. In the middle, you got the cognac and the heroin. And then uh, closing it out, you got the vanilla and the tobacco. And boom, there you have it. All right. Beautiful scent. Once it dries down, uh, it was good. Now, Siage. Siage was good. Scent trail was good. Mind you, I'm an overspray. I'm an overspray. So all in mind is going to be abundant. Okay. Longevity. I did this <clears throat> about five, six hours ago and I'm still getting it. Okay. I'm still getting it. Uh, the, I'm still, the, the cherry, like I said, to me, that, you know, was the more dominant note in this day throughout. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little faint, so I'm gonna give it probably about seven hours because I know it's been about six hours now. So in another hour, it's gonna really be faded down to where I would have to um, respray and uh, replenish the uh, scent if I was uh, going in that direction. So I give it about seven hours. Uh, scent trail, scent trail was really good, uh, and, and that's basically really because I'm an oversprayer. Uh, Siage is really good. You know, my scent bubble was really nice. You know. As because every time I leave, Nemo's always go over the sacks, you know, holler at my uh, my uh, girl there at the uh, bar number nine stand, who you know, she be taking care of me there and there. And she was like, What is that? Because sacks, uh, I don't believe they carry initial parfums, at least I haven't seen it in the Saxons, Tyson's. Um, and she was like, What's well, like yeah, Tyson's Galleria? That is, she was like, Um, yeah, I want to. I was like, Boom, there it was. So, you know, you, you know, because I do that intentionally to walk through the mall to get the reactions to see what the scent is delivering, you know, see what the scent delivers. I overspray, walk on, boom, get the reactions, get the feedback if it's positive or it's negative, and go from there. And the feedback from this one was it was all positive. It really was. It was all positive. You know, my, I'm an oversprayer. So, yeah, narcotic delight. I get that. I'm going to say a nine. I'm going to give it a nine. Okay, I'm going to give it a nine. Really good scent. Get your nose on it. Try it out. Um, and, you know, go from there. And I thought because of the rum note that the juice would have been a little darker. But, no, the juice not dark. Uh, it's a light juice. Um, but beautiful scent. Beautiful scent, fam. Okay. All right. So, Initio Perfumes 2024 release. I'm running you about 385. Uh, uh, um, cherry, pink, black pepper. Cognac, heroin, uh, tobacco, vanilla. Those are the notes. All right. Really good scent. At least I think so. Get your nose on it. Try it out. All right. Uh, once again, first time viewers, thank you for tuning into the uh, channel Suits and Scents. Um, before you make any decisions, go back, check out previous videos from Suits and Scents. Go from there. Continue views. Much love. Truly appreciate you. Truly, truly appreciate you. Can't stop. Won't stop. Not going to stop. It's just not going to happen. Okay. All right, fam. To the next video. Deuces. Thank you.